Hey, this is Kamal. Welcome back to a new video of One Piece Bounty Rush, and this is Boost for Sabo gameplay, the strongest Sabo in One Piece Bounty Rush. And of course, you guys already know who Sabo is. This this is Mara Jade Sabo. Mara Jade would be the happiest person after getting buffs of these OG units, cause Sabo got really really OP after buffs. So how Sabo will be after Boost for how OP, how strong he will be at Boost for. If you guys are thinking to boost 4 or boost 3 this character after getting his buffs or you guys to thinking to use your time, frags, gems on this character then this gameplay is for you. Okay we already told a lot of things of buffs and him being a, almost at boost 3 on the previous Sabo gameplay. So we're not gonna take a lot of time of you guys and let's go directly to the Sabo gameplay. Before going for Sabo gameplay. Thanks to Marajit for these gameplays. Make sure to check out his channel link on the description. And let's see what medals he is using on this Sabo. Let's go. Alright, this is the Sabo. He's getting 157.6% support. You can see that shining boost for attacker, seven warlords of the sea, paramecia, captain, new worlds, all are max. Seven warlords of the sea tag is really important for Sabo. So make sure if you are a Sabo abuser, make sure to have that tag. Medals he is using is these medals you can see 52 by 52 so we are not lying it's 52 by 52 he's getting attack defense and crit he is using medals are Marco, Shanks and Rain medal set so this is the medal set he is using for skill 1 cooldown you can use this medal set too now let's go to the first match in SSL you can see this boost for Sabo game set let's go alright first match in SSL this is Drama Island this is Drama Island right yeah this is Drama Island stage. Our boost for Sabo is ready. There is Luffy, Yamato, and Kaido. The meta is here, so we can see how good this boost for Sabo is in this meta. I mean, any good four star character would be like really OP in this meta. If you are close to boosting for any unit, make sure to tell us on the comment section. So maybe we can uh, put your video also on our channel. To show how good that character can be on boost 4. Of course only 4 star units. Uh, 2 star or 3 star we can also. Uh, I mean like we or most of the people can do like 4 star of 2 or 3 star character. Plus no one will like that thing that much though. Because we can't use 2 star or 3 star units at boost 4 also. So as you can see he is almost full HP. He killed Yamato already. This guy is tanky as hell and really like kills also. He does really nice kills. He is an attacker and still that much tanky. That's really pog. I mean when he is on this skill, the Mera Mera straight skill, then he is really tanky at that time. So make sure to use your this skill and then abuse everyone, ev uh, burn everyone's ass. Yeah, oh, that was really nice damage. Okay, dodge. Nice. Okay, one thing uh, Mara told us that I would really like if Mara can tell us on the description also. Uh, I mean, on the comment section also of on this video because we forgot. But I think he said if there are like uh, a lot of enemies, then you should do like 1-1-1 one, one, one attack. And if you are fighting with only 1v1, one, one, then you should go for 1-1-1-2 one, 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 or 1-1-2 one, one, I think that's how he said to abuse this skill this skill we are uh, he is using at Mera Mera State okay finally he's dead at boost any character can die any character yep if you want to kill any character just wait for the boost and that character is going to die for sure I mean of course you have to be really strong if you are using really old or uh, character that is not attacker then of course at boost also it will be hard to kill him but if you are good attacker or uh, if you are good character then of course at boost it will be like your attack skills everything will be boosted and you can kill easily okay that one Kaido got the kill Sabo already almost got her though and now Roger uh, Sabo killed Roger. It's like fair, fair and square. Okay. Can we kill Kaido? Okay. Kaido is of course a defender. Say and he has two health. 
So, okay, 8.3k score almost. And Mara Jade is the MVP, of course. This is the boost for power of boost for Sabo. 6 kills, wow. Killing machine. Our right, second match is in Sabo D evening. Oh, we have another Sabo on our team. Nice. Okay, we're ready to go. This time, uh, X Luffy is same, but we are fighting with Roger also. And green element is good against red element. What? Why you even use that skill for X Luffy for nothing? Wow. Imagine. You can use this uh, to move faster. I don't know if this thing uh, using this normal attack still moves faster or not. Because before it was faster, but now he is like kind of a little bit old i mean sabo is after buffs he is really pog i'm just saying about the old thing so i don't know if he moves faster while doing the normals like that or not i mean onigashima luffy uh moves really faster though tell me in the comment section what you guys think uh when he is not on my Mera state he moves faster or not and unlimited he can is still there cause scale one cooldown plus we are using the seven warlords of the c tag Tell me uh, if you see this boost for Sabo of Maro Jade, tell us what should be the counter of this Sabo. Who can kill this boost for Sabo? I just want to know on the comment section so we know. So we know how to counter Maro Jade in future. I have my almost boost for Zoro though, but I don't know after buffs how good he will be against Sabo. Almost dead. Of course, boost. Add boost, I said. Boost can kill everyone. All right, let's go again. I mean, without boost, I think like it's almost impossible to kill a boost for Sabo. And especially after buffs though. Okay, you can take this flag because he didn't use meta meta state right now. But kind of wasted boost, didn't you? You could have like go... Uh, berserk at boost though but okay oh she should run wow roger just wasted his skill look at this he's using one one attack when he's doing one v one he's going for one 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 and kill uh roger nice why he's doing one 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 because uh these flames hitting one time also heals him that's why okay he was almost dead that's why he attacked uh two times gone of course i knew this was gonna happen f okay i here i was thinking that he would use sugar but he didn't use sugar he was waiting for sabo only but okay it is what it is uh, it's 8.6k score. I think if he would have used sugar, it would be like score would be like more because your character would be alive at that time. So maybe 5 kills to capture a really nice match. Let's go to the last match. Our last but not the least match in SS League. This is Onigashima stage. What happens if Sabo so shows up on Onigashima stage? What will happen? This will happen. But there is no Kaido, though, there is Yamato. I mean, I don't want to give spoilers, but Onigashima, Yamato against Sabo. Okay, it's not a spoiler. It's not a spoiler. I'm repeating. It's not a spoiler. I'm just saying Sabo versus Yamato because Yamato is from Onigashima. Not a spoiler, but it's flames are going to heat up Yamato. If you know, you know. If you don't know, I ain't saying anything. Okay, without when you are not using that skill, you can use, uh, you can take flag. I mean, wow, Yamato and Roger versus Sabo. Look at the uh, damage. Roger used both his skills, and you know how crazy Roger is. Plus, Roger is a green element, so he has like benefit of against Sabo. Green element is stronger than red element, but. Not when you are having a boost for Sabo. Bro, 1v2. Oh, sheesh. 
1v2 is also not a problem. Okay, wow. Why these guys are like training, training on the other two sides? Oh man, he used like his skills so many times. Oh, Sawa's skill got wasted. But still, he's dead. F. Okay, I think uh, he wasted all his skill, but there was no one to take the flag. And before uh, he fights any other enemy, I think his skill will be back. Yeah, his skill is back. So that was kind of a smart move. You have to sometimes waste or uh, use your take flag just to make your team win instead of th thinking of precautions. I mean, not precautions, consequences. I mean, this is getting badder and bad day by day for sure. Okay, you could have killed that black bear, but okay, he was going to save the day by killing shanks oh sheesh i mean shanks uh shanks players are like shanks is what should i say okay i mean like shanks player are uh so ready shanks player has to think of the future to when to use his their counter or skills at the perfect time to kill the enemy so sometimes they miscalculate it like this again f so you have to be really good about the calculations. That's why it's hard to use shanks though. I mean, calculations like this can really be go wrong sometimes. And you know, he wasted his uh, counter two times. Oh sheesh, let's go. 7.7k score. GG what the sugar did. <laughs> Oh no. Why why are you running? You could have uh gave her really two three punches Marajit and it would be like nine point eight K score maybe if you would have given some punches to Sugar. I see not a child abuse Marajit is. Oh four K was recapture nine point five really nice match. GG. All gameplays were really good. Tell me in the comment section which gameplay was your favorite. What you guys think about Sabo? after buffs or what you guys think about this boost for Sabo and if you guys have any recommendations if you guys join my live stream you guys know what characters I have so if you have any 100 characters gameplay recommendations you can give me so I can use that someone gave me a recommendation of a character and we are working on that character if you guys have any other character to recommend me you guys can just tell me on the comment section. So that's it for the video and thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more PBR content and, and tell me about this boost for Savo gameplay on the comment section. Bye guys, bye bye.